The acting president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, informed the Benin monarch of an existing roadmap on how to tackle the problems of the oil producing communities by a group Pan Delta Forum. He said the report of the group prompted President Buhari to direct him to visit Naja Delta communities on a fact finding mission. Letting them understand that the federal government is committed to a long term solution to many of the issues that they have raised. So that's why I'm uh, here. Uh, yeah. Of course, it would have been uh, impossible to come to Benin without paying the currency call on uh, the Royal Wireless Bay. Not just because uh, we know that you are indeed uh, the the primary, uh, the, the primary uh, ruler of this uh, the the II informed the acting president that during his post coronation visit to communities in Edo South, issues of great concern to the people were tabled before him. He listed the issues to include lingering crisis between Ijaws and the Benis, the call for scrapping of CDAs, the xenophobic attack on Nigerians in South Africa, among others and ask the acting president to intervene. The delicacy which we have been doing all this year, we um, want to appeal that your Excellency please use this opportunity uh, to intervene to bring peace to that area because a few years back there was a Supreme Court uh, judgment regarding the delicacy when the matter came up, we got as far as the Supreme Court that Gedegede belongs to Benin and indeed Gedegede is said, the land belongs to the upper of Benin is said that the very land that there is in question that the judge has said that there is a welcome more said that we can donate all the ethnic groups within our midst we are hospitable people Acting President Yami Osibanjo before leaving the Oba's palace took a group photograph with the Omonobanedo Ukwa Polopolo Obaiware II. Pius Nsoko reporting.